The discoveries of many scientists over many years led to the development of cell theory. Cell theory describes the basic characteristics of all cells and organisms. It is one of the foundational theories of modern biology. Hello everyone and welcome back to H&H &H Knowledge Hub. In today's video, we will be talking about the cell theory and the parts of the cell theory. Robert Hooke first described cells in 1665, but in early 1670s, Anthony von Leeuwenhoek became the first person to report observations of living cells under a microscope. In 1839, Matthias Swyden and Theodore Swan, a physiologist, independently observed that plants and animals are made up of cells. Together, their work showed that living things are all made up of cells. Further research had shown that all organisms are made up of one or more cells. It was once believed that organisms could spontaneously grow from non-living substances. In 1840, biologist Robert Remark observed cell growth in fertilized chicken eggs and tadpoles. Robert Remark's findings were supported by Rudolf Welko. He said that all cells come from existing cells. A third part of the cell theory is based on the work carried out by the German scientist Theodore Swann. His work led him to propose that the cell is the smallest functioning unit of life. Anything smaller than a cell cannot live independently. All cells need to take in energy from their environment to maintain life processes. Cells of multicellular organisms such as giraffes get their energy from the food taken in by the organism of which they are a part. Other cells such as unicellular cells such as protists swallow their food. Other cells make their own food using energy in sun or certain chemicals. Food molecules are broken up inside the cell to release stored energy. Photosynthetic cells take in energy from the sunlight and use it to make their own food. The cells then use the stored energy later. The molecule ATP transports chemical energy within the cell. As ATP breaks down, it releases energy in a form a cell can use. Cells have a variety of ways and processes to get energy from their environment. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more scientific videos and H&H &H Knowledge Hub.